In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple way to completely automate your video production and distribution process using a tool called Frame.io, which allows you to upload your videos and seamlessly work with your video editors, as well as using a simple database in Airtable that allows you to auto-publish content and keep a content library of all the content that you've ever created. And then using a tool called Metricool that allows you to upload those videos automatically into an auto list so that you can seamlessly publish those videos out on a given schedule, all with just two very simple automations. Now I created this tool after a lot of people saw my content engine database where I can plan, create, and post content all automatically and work with my team seamlessly. But I got a lot of questions asking people why I did things a certain way when I could just use tools like Metricool and schedule them out with their auto lists. And the short answer is, is this system allows me to manage a lot of content with multiple brands, with a lot of different team members, and it seamlessly integrates and allows me to create complex workflows. But if you're just trying to streamline your content process and you're not a video agency or creating 20, 30, 40, videos a week and trying to schedule all those, this system is overkill. So instead, I'm going to show you a much simpler system that you can implement in just a couple hours. So first, let's start with frame.io and let me show you how this works. You can see I've already uploaded quite a few videos, but just to show you how this works, I can upload any video that I record right into frame.io and you'll see that frame.io quickly processes these. And then up here, I can add team members. So if I want to, I can add a video editor. Once I do that, my video editor is going to get a notification and then they can come directly into frame.io and download these videos right like this. And then when they're done with that video, they can take it and just upload it back into frame.io. There's even a versioning system so they can drop it on top of the previous video and it's going to keep track of the different versions. Then I'm going to get a notification myself and then I can open up the video and I can actually watch it with the controls down here. And then as I see different things in the video that need to be fixed, I can point to them just like this. I can circle them and then I can also provide some feedback in the comments here. We need to make sure this is in focus. Then I can hit send and it's gonna track this comment and it's also gonna track that specific image with this particular comment. And then I can also come in here and I can create other comments as well. And then I can even give a time lapse and say, I want to remove this specific piece of the video. And now my video editor is gonna see my feedback and then I can move the status to in progress and then my video editor will get a notification and they know that I have a few corrections to the video to make. And then they can come back to the system and upload the final video. And again, they can drag it over the originals. And now you're going to see we have three versions. And then I can take a look at their final version and then I can finally approve it if I don't see any other corrections to make. And then I can use this automation to automatically bring it into Airtable. You'll see it's going to bring these videos into an inbox and you can see that the final video is right here. And then from here, I can add in a description for the video. And then if I'm ready to publish this video, I can move the status to ready. But before I show you that, I want to show you how the auto lists work in Metricool because these are pretty cool. You can set up these different auto lists. In this case, I've set one up for vertical video distribution and I can decide where do I want to publish this content? Do I want to publish it to YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and Twitter? And then in this case, I don't actually have to set a publish date. I can give a general publish time that I want all of the videos that get added to this auto list should be published. So I can basically create a pool of videos that need to be distributed at a given time. In this case, every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on that is going to be published at 9, 13 p.m. In this case, I probably want to move this to am and it's going to be distributed to these platforms and so you can see the power let's go back to frame.io and let's go ahead and approve a bunch of these other videos as if they've been approved and then if we jump back over to the distribution system you're going to see these videos come into the system and then i'm going to go ahead and just copy this description a couple times and we'll put description number two description number three and then from here we can set the status in Airtable to ready to publish and then those videos will come into the auto publish view here and and that will trigger this automation here, which sends the videos from Airtable to Metricool, and we can automatically trigger that automation just to make it happen faster. You can see it's found the three videos and now it's adding them to Metricool. And then if we jump back over to Metricool and we refresh the screen, we'll see it's loading those videos. And now we're gonna see that it has the three videos that we sent over from Airtable. It has the video and then also the description. And these videos will automatically be distributed at this time on these given days. So all we have to do is fill up this queue with videos and then each day it's gonna drop one video at a time. And of course, if you wanted to publish more content, you could just add additional schedules. And of course, you can add more publishing platforms as well. And then once these videos are sent to Metricool, they will fall out of the auto publish view and you'll be
be able to find them in the content library. This is going to be an ongoing library where you can store all of the videos, you can see the status, and then you can also get access to those videos by opening up the URL directly. And this will allow you to keep all of the videos in storage in Google Drive or some other platform that you might like, like Dropbox, so that when you delete them from frame.io, you'll still have long-term storage in another place like Google Drive. And then of course you can expand on your content library. You can search it. You could add other fields to tag content if you'd like. So you can really start to build out a robust video distribution system. But I wanted to show you a really simple automated system that you could put together in just a few minutes so that you could get your journey started creating video and easily distributing that content today. So as always, I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video where I show you how to build out a more complex system. And you wanna be able to publish 100 plus pieces of content a day across multiple clients or multiple brands, make sure to check out that next video. I go in depth on how you could build out or think through a system like that. Check out the video, I'll see you there.